Hey everyone, welcome slash welcome back. I am very happy that you are here and I hope that you're doing well. I debated heavily on whether I should post this video or not because I am unsure of the impact that it's gonna have. As true to the title, I tried a watermelon diet to see how fast a person could lose weight on this specific diet. And just a disclaimer, I do not recommend doing this. It had a huge impact on my physical health and my mental health, which is why I've gone ahead and decided to post it. I kind of want this video to be a bit of a warning against rapid weight loss trends and diets because they negatively affect you in more than one way and I personally do not think that they are worth it. So just to give a bit of knowledge on this specific diet, I read an article on Healthline. So basically this article goes over the benefits of the watermelon diet listing off perks such as it's a great source for vitamin A, B's, and C's, 90% water so it's hella low in calories, and it's also a great antioxidant. So if you're looking to cleanse, watermelon is going to be your friend. However, there are also potential risks to this diet such as no protein, there could be a potential allergic reaction, and you could have low insulin resistance. And this diet does kind of have a perk that I kind of disagree with, and it's the diet being short term. While that means that you obviously don't have to do this diet for very long, a lot of experts say that short term diets usually fail in the long run because once the diet is over, we are more likely to go back into our bad eating habits and just undo whatever the short term diet did. So getting on with how you're supposed to do this thing. I had to look around for how much watermelon you were supposed to eat. And I think that was 100 grams, was, which meant you were supposed to eat like nine to 10 pieces. And then in the article, it says that you're only supposed to do it for like a max of three days. And then you're slowly supposed to integrate other foods back into your diet. So basically on these three days, you're supposed to replace two meals with a hundred grams of watermelon. That's not a lot to eat. And if you know anything about calories, you kind of need them. Like I think the average calorie intake for people is 1200. And yeah, let me tell you something from my experience, you're not going to meet that on this diet. I tried to vlog myself doing this diet over a period of time. Unfortunately, some of the video footage did get corrupted. So you're going to have to put up with looking at my face for the majority of this video. I deeply apologize about that. So starting off day one, I weighed about 125 pounds and decided to take some pointers from one of my favorite YouTubers, Elbat. You should definitely check her out. She is an absolute goddess. And I used measurements as well. My waist was at 26 inches and my thighs at 20 inches. I also wore the same type of clothes for when I measure myself after. I'm done with the diet, just in case you're wondering that at the end. I just kind of wanted to see the difference in my body from day one to day, you know, whenever I ended. Nobody crucified me for this, but like, I've never been a huge fan of watermelon. Hold on. I was just about to explain how it has no taste. Um, I was wrong. That was a good piece. So, day one of watermelon diet. With my expression, you can tell I was not excited about doing this diet in the first place. However, I was feeling okay until the night came around. I know that no one could probably see me right now, but it's day one in like the middle of the night. And I am very hungry. My stomach is doing the old rumble grumble it's a uh, not happy with me but i intend to see this through mama didn't raise no bitch and i'm just gonna like drink this bottle of water that i have and hopefully that'll stop like the growling and the cramping so i'll i'll see you tomorrow bye so day two was a little similar to that night. I was definitely hungry, a, a little hangry, just a little bit. And I was kind of tired, but not like, you know, fatigue enough to be like, I need to stop doing this now. Um, that is until I was two hours into my class. My stomach literally felt like it was eating itself. I did not feel well at all. So when we got a break, I immediately like, headed over to the Wendy's that was right by the school and just got like a small thing of fries. 
And let me tell you something, after three fries, just eating three fries, I felt so much better. My stomach stopped hurting. I felt a little more focused and a little bit more positive than I had felt previously in the day and when I started my class. So at the end of that night, I decided I was not going to do the two meals replaced for three days. I was gonna replace one meal a day for seven. I can tell you right now, it still did not go in my favor. God, I look rough. Um, hi. Day three, I just got home from work, and I am tired, and it's not like a sleep, like lack of sleep tired, it's like just lack of energy tired, and yeah, I have like just no energy at all, and uh, but basically I'm using my job as the exercise portion. Like I went back and I read the article and it says that like people also exercise while doing this diet. And let me tell you, I ain't, I, ain't got, I, ain't, I ain't got the energy to do that, bro. And I'm gonna count my job as the exercise portion because I am literally like nonstop moving. I don't know if it's like I, I even feel hungry anymore. I'm just, what's the word? I'm very lethargic. Like my stomach was growling like all day yesterday, but yeah, that's that's how it is. So, um, I'm kind of glad that I switched up. I just, I don't think that I'm gonna like feel energized until I'm probably done. So I'm just gonna get my caffeine from coffee. Cause that's smart. Day three, I was extremely tired. I had absolutely no energy, and I also had a severe drop in my mental health. I had made it down to 121 pounds, but mentally I was saying to myself, that's not enough, and that I was failing the diet because I couldn't get through the three days and replacing two meals. The first few days eating the watermelon was easy, but now every time I take a bite of this, there's just no flavor at all. And hear me out, it's not the fact that watermelon isn't good. I've just eaten it so much that it's not good anymore. And yesterday, like, I was literally trying to gag this stuff down because it was just... It's... It's just so flavorless, man. I don't want to do it anymore, but I have to. I hate myself for doing this so much. I mean, watermelon's good. Just not right now. Day seven can't come fast enough. Um, I probably should have known that's where I needed to stop. But again, I was having a little bit of an issue with how I was looking at myself and was just doing a ton of trash talking on how I looked and how much I weighed. Around day five was the eye opener for me. My mom had made a comment that I looked very thin to her, but of course like she always says that. So I was like, mom, you don't know what you're talking about. But then I kind of sat there, I was like, well, maybe I should check. And I was shocked because the clothes that fit me that were like pretty much snug, they were extremely loose. I had gone from a medium size to a small extra small. I have never been a small and an extra small. I've always been a medium. So I decided to go ahead and check my weight I was now down to 119 pounds and my waist went from 26 inches to 24.5 and my thighs had gone from 20 inches to 19. This was in a matter of four days. Any doctor anywhere will tell you that's not good. While I was and still kind of am shocked at how much weight I had dropped, I was more shocked in how I was feeling mentally. I was extremely tired, just flat out exhausted. I had gone back into being extremely depressed and just, again, hating myself. And it's, interestingly enough, I did this diet around the time I had made my self-harm video. With my mental health declining like that, I thought of self-harming again. And if you didn't watch the video, I have not done that in four months. I'm going on five. But I was thinking of doing it again because I had failed. In my eyes, I had failed because I couldn't complete the seven days. 
and I needed to be punished for that. That was my mentality. I'm not saying that there's a logical reason behind this, but that's, that's what goes on in my head when I get into that very negative space. And I cannot blame this diet solely for my mental health. This is something that I have been dealing with for a long time, but this diet seemed to act as a trigger for me, which is why I am begging you to not place your value and your worth on your weight or on how you look. Those do not matter. Your weight does not matter. Your facial features don't matter, okay? What matters is the type of person that you are. Beauty comes in all shapes and sizes. I don't care who's gonna argue with me. I will die on that hill. So, did this diet stay true to its word? Yes, it did. I lost more weight than I was expecting, but I also had more difficulties than I was expecting as well. For me, the cons absolutely outweigh the pros. And honestly, that is gonna be the case for every, what should I call it? Quick diet, or just like, you know, a shortcut into getting the body that you want. You're literally starving yourself on these diets. And we have to ask ourselves, is being seen as pretty worth our well-being? Because honestly, we should all just strive to be healthy and healthy is gonna look different on everyone. A quick solution is gonna give you a very short solution and you're gonna be back where you started possibly with a negative mental state and that's gonna make it so much worse. Um, I do apologize if this video lacked vlogged aspect of these types of videos. I also apologize if this video has acted as a trigger for someone struggling with an eating disorder. I am going to link articles in the description that talk about EDs and the help available to anyone who needs it. I hope that everyone has a good day or night wherever you are, and I hope that you are all taking care of yourselves. If you found this video useful or interesting, maybe poke that like button a little bit. If you wanna stay around, go over and just give a little tickle to the subscribe button. Anyways, I hope this video wasn't complete trash, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, stay safe out there. Bye!